Right guys, we've got a new project on. Connex have approached us. This is one of their Gravedigger models and they have asked us to make a full size version of a Gravedigger monster truck. It's the 30th anniversary of Gravedigger in the States. Connex is 20th anniversary. And to celebrate the whole thing, they want us to make this enormous life size version of a monster truck. Do you think we could do it? Yes! yes. Are you up for it? Yes. yes! Yeah, let's give it a go. RBLI stands for Royal British Legion Industries. We're a, a charity, we look after uh, serving and ex-service people, primarily those wounded, injured and sick. We provide on our village here in Kent. We have care homes, housing, factory, and our main aim is to get people's lives back to independence through employment. Well, Gravedigger is, uh, is the most famous monster truck in America, driven by a guy called Dennis Anderson, who's been designing, building and racing monster trucks for the last 30 years and this year is the 30th anniversary of Gravedigger. Now Connex have got a license with Monster Jam to do little Connex monster truck sets. So it's Connex's 20th anniversary, Gravedigger's 30th anniversary and they wanted to do something special to celebrate this momentous time. So they came to RBLI and said will you build us a full scale model of this monster truck, the 30th anniversary Gravedigger. And we like a challenge here at RBLI, so we said, you bet. This monster truck uh, project is really exciting for us. Why were we chosen? I think probably three reasons. Uh, first one, we got David Church, wonderful designer um, and uh, deliverer of projects. This isn't the sort of project you can press a button on a computer and get the answer on it. It's an art form, and David can do that for us. Secondly, he's supported by a wonderful team um, who have the skills, they have the dedication, and they have the patience. It's quite a quite a long and demanding project for that. And thirdly, I think probably we're the only place in the world where you could get this done on time and such quality. It's been a real team effort here at RBLI. Uh, we broke it down into sub-assemblies and we started off small and got bigger. People were replicating parts. I say I need sort of 10, 20, 30 of this bit making and the guys would go off and replicate it. It's been really good from sort of the very sort of least able people to the more able people, everyone's got involved. It's been a real team effort and it's created a real buzz around the place. I think the thing that surprised me most about this project is the sheer scale of it and how big you can build with Connex. I mean, it just so happened that we planned to lift the body on top of the chassis on the 11th of November. And I gave myself an hour to do this, thinking that that would be plenty of time. Um, we had the forklift truck come in, we lifted the body up, it was so nerve-wracking we thought will it work during the process connects pieces just started pinging out and it was where the forklift was trying to move the body a fraction of an inch but it wasn't moving it in quite the right direction and at one stage I really did think this wasn't going to work I was so relieved when that last piece went in because we were running out of time we had to leave here at half past ten to get up to the remembrance service and that is a special moment for us all here at RBLI so when that last piece went in it was a real moment of relief and we could all go knowing that we'd achieved what we wanted to do Well, Connect moulded 800,000 parts for us and shipped them over from America. And uh, they, they moulded the greens and the purples because you can't get those in the set. So they moulded them specifically for this Gravedigger's 30th anniversary truck. Once the body had been lifted on top of the chassis, we then started having to clad it with the green and purple Connects. Now, one of the main challenges here was to try and work out how much purple we were going to need and how much green we were going to need and to get them in the right places. And then we started by offering up a sheet of the cladding to the side of the truck but soon realised that that wasn't going to work so we then had to split the cladding down into sections and put it up in sections because you couldn't get your hands behind it to join it all together. What I really enjoyed about the project is the opportunity to sneak out of my office, come down here and, and, and play with a monster truck, uh, see the team growing, not, not in numbers but growing in confidence and the fun they're getting with it, putting it all together. Um, but also seeing other members of the organisation far and wide, hearing about it, coming in with their cameras, taking secret photographs of it.
when we went to move the truck, it was really raining hard, and uh, I really didn't want it to get soaking wet before it went in the container. So we had a about a half hour window of opportunity where it stopped raining, so we moved it round. Uh, luckily, it stayed together. It was a bit shaky when we were pushing it. Had to avoid a few large puddles, but we got it down there okay, and it was all ready to load on the truck where the fun began. Well, we were hoping that we could load it straight onto the truck from the loading bay, just wheel it onto the back of the truck. But when the container pulled down to our loading bay, it was slightly higher than the loading bay. So what we ended up having to do was to lift it up, have a makeshift trolley underneath the back of the monster truck and push it on. But yeah, luckily we all got our heads together, we found a solution and uh, it worked really well. We strapped it down, shut the doors and uh, sent it on its way to Texas. Dave's is a perfectionist, a real perfectionist, and I knew we'd get this project done. Great team building effort. Uh, everybody's got together, came together. I think it's great. I think I'm just glad to be on it. I was glad to be part of the team. At the start, it was hard to envision the actual the look of it, but now you now it's there in front of you. I think it looks amazing. Something I've never, I don't think I'd ever see again, or have a chance to be involved in again. Uh, six weeks later the build arrived in America. I flew out to meet it out there, really nervous on the way. Uh, but thankfully when we got there, unloaded the container, it was all in one piece. Um, so yeah, it must be down to the superior build quality and the expertise that went in here at RBLI. Well, when, I, when we got it off the container, the first thing to do was to add some more graphics to it, which I'd taken over with me, so I added those. Next thing was to get it up on its wheels. Um, so we had a bit of an issue with welding some bolts on, but that got done out by the guys who are used to working on monster trucks. So we got it up on its wheels, and that was the first time I'd actually seen it on the wheels, which it looked totally amazing. It transformed it putting on the wheels, so that was a really good moment. Uh, the next day, we loaded it onto the back of a low loader and toured it around San Antonio town, took it down to a children's hospital, and these, all these poorly children came out and saw the truck which was that was quite emotional and it made it made every hour of building it really worthwhile just to see these kids reactions when they saw this truck the low loader then took it back to the stadium and it was put on display in the 30th anniversary grave digger experience ready for all the monster jam fans to come and see it the next day and when they did see it they absolutely loved it so it was it made it really worthwhile and it was it was just such a great effort and everyone involved was really pleased From a distance, I wanted people to think this was actually the real Gravedigger 30th anniversary truck. It's only when you get up close that you realise it's made out of hundreds of thousands of Connex pieces. Hey everybody, I'm Dennis Anderson, driver and creator of Gravedigger Monster Truck. I'm coming out here to check out the Connex truck for the first time. I've heard about it, I've seen pictures, and now I'm going to see it in person. Unbelievable. I mean, this thing has actually got, I'm telling you, it's life-size. Everything is connects on this thing, but the tires and rims. You can see it's got a tube chassis. It's got the cradle built underneath of it. It's even got the zoomies on it. Look at the flag on the back of it, though, man. It's like even the flag all connects. All connects the shocks, rear end differentials. This thing truly is awesome, dude. What an art piece. That's a work of art right there. This project's exciting to all of us because of its sheer magnitude. In my view, it's, it's probably a world record, I don't know that for sure. Um, secondly, it's bringing the whole of the business together, the whole of the team, from marketing to logistics to design to the construction team, uh, and linking that in with our partners with Connects. It's, it's really exciting from that. And thirdly, it's giving um, much needed employment uh, for our disabled ex servicemen and we, we work hard on this and it's good and we, we tried our best for doing it and it's fantastic. It was a challenge, it was an excellent opportunity to promote uh, what we do here and I certainly enjoyed doing it from start to finish. This has been such a great project to be involved with. It's been such a boost for morale. Everyone's been very excited. They've been taking a lot of satisfaction from knowing that they've all played their role in developing this absolutely fantastic Connex monster truck. World's biggest monster truck. It's awesome. Can you believe a team of 12 people built this monster in England? I love you guys and I want to thank you personally. This big build is unbelievable. Yay!